Trump will win in just a few days. Why do I say that and why do I make that bold prediction? Because we're going to talk about some stories that should open up the fact of exactly what's happening and how he has taken things and learned how to market it even better. The fact that it looks like Kamala is tired on a train, Biden is imploding, and most of the other Democrats are starting to distance their self from the top of the ticket. That means them should be panicking. We're going to talk about some new numbers that's come out. Also, we're going to talk about what just happened in Asheville. It's mind-blowing. It's really mind-blowing. And then we're going to discuss a little of some military buildup. We're actually deploying one of our branches. Why are we deploying them? And what are we planning to do? Again, a few days before election, here we go. Let's dive into today's video. Hey guys, welcome to the Max. Thank you so very much for being here today. If you are new to the channel, go down here, press subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that's okay, but let us know what you think about the content of today's video. If you can tell it's a little dark, uh, we're actually supposed to get a storm today, so um, that's good. We need some rain. Uh, we're gonna be doing uh, some videoing of some of the new land that we have that we've been clearing off for our cattle. You'll see that in some upcoming videos, especially on our vlog channel. And also, uh, I have a surprise that we're going to be talking about in the next coming days. A big announcement for our uh, future here at the Max. Also, remember, today is the last day to get into the drawing um, before we do a giveaway for October. So please make sure that you are subscribed and you're commenting below. That gets you entered into the giveaway. You're randomly selected, and we send hundreds of dollars worth of goods to you. It's just to say thank you. Now, let's dive into today's video. So why do I say that Trump is going to win this thing? All right, let's first talk about the, the censorness. He was censored based on this platform. But even through that, in the first few days of the Trump Rogan interview, it has amassed over 100 million views between YouTube, Twitter, and other forms of sharing. Kamala's One Caller Daddy, which is supposedly her biggest podcast to date, has 775,000 in three weeks. Her uh, Club Shay Shay, they said it may get up to 1 million or 2 million. They said the Breakfast Club was gonna be probably under a million as well. So if you combine every sort of media that Kamala has done since she's been on this journey to be your president, which is unbelievable how she even got put there, but she has not got enough views that would even equate to one podcast by Trump. Every time Trump speaks, uh, he has eyeballs. Not, and then Elon Musk and him were 100 million. Rogan, him, 100 million. Uh, when he does Theo Vaughn or, or PBD or he does The Gamer Aiden, all these people, he, he's given them millions of views because he's just that enticing. He's that marketable. Now, one thing I like about it is all these podcasts have shown who he really is. I mean, these are long form podcasts. They're not quick hips and all this kind of stupid uh, legacy media push. It's made him more relatable. I thought his PBD interviewed talking about some of his past and, and how, how he doesn't you know partake of alcohol because of certain things. He did that with Theo Vaughn too. He also kind of talked, showed his kind of his, his different side. I thought they were phenomenal ways of looking at a future president and also a former president. We don't really get into the lives of a lot of these people, so I think Trump is opening that up. Also, the fact of marketability. He's learned how to do it. I mean, he's been doing it for 78 years, it seems. But think about it. He shows that McDonald's does a big deal there. But like Biden, here he says something about garbage, calling us garbage. And yeah, it was a bad choice of words because actually now you're starting to see Democrats distance themselves from him. But Trump takes it, learns how to market it. Him and Vivek and, and Benny Johnson, all they're all getting different trash bins and trash cans and, and uh, garbage trucks, and they're taking advantage of it and it's now helped him even more. These are the kind of things that shows what someone who is smart, capable is doing. Now, let's look on the other side. Again, Biden, you're starting to see senators and representatives on the Democratic side that are starting to actually distance themselves from the Biden White House. Not only that, they've almost distanced themselves from Kamala. If you listen to David Axelrod and some of the biggest uh, legacy media talking heads They've almost said, look, we're, yeah, we're supporting Kamala, but there's just, a few, yeah, there's just a few things that she should do better on. She should do better speaking. This is what she needs to do. They're starting to constructively criticize her on air. 
live. That's never happened before. Did you see Bill Clinton yesterday? Bill Clinton even came out and said, I mean, literally, go back and read the Breitbart article and go back and see what he said. He said, you shouldn't vote for Trump just because his economy was better. So basically, he's admitting that the economy was better under Trump. But he's basically saying you should support Kamala and keep causing yourself problems with your money. He literally said, even under Trump, the economy was better. Go back and watch the clip. Now again, it might have been a poor choice of words, but it's kind of sad that all these people, all these showcases, all these former presidents, all these uh, president families, look at the Bush, all these people are coming out for Kamala. These superstars, I mean, they got Jennifer Lopez today, they've got George Clooney tomorrow, and it's not making a difference. And that's what I love, because it shows America is sick and tired of this elite class and the establishment class telling us what we should or shouldn't believe. Before we go any further, a word from today's sponsor. The sponsor of today's video is Mudwater. I'm actually in my office and that's why I love Mudwater and that's why I wanna bring it to your attention. Every day around two o'clock I just get, oh, I just feel like I've, I've done too much or I feel like I'm too tired. I'll get up at 4 a.m. of course milk count. So I love Mudwater because it's a natural form of energy. It tastes like cacao and chai had a baby. It gives me the all day energy without the crash and jitters of traditional coffee or even energy drinks. Now, this could be your morning ritual or your afternoon delight. I like it as afternoon delight because it helps me keep on going to finish up my day. One thing I love about mud water is not only is it beneficial, it has all the mushrooms that are good for our health and we're gonna go through those. Each ingredient, which is clean and organic and non-GMO, of course good for vegan and paleo diets too but each ingredient has benefits. Cacao and chai for the hint of chocolate and also the caffeine. Lion's mane mushrooms for focus. Cordyceps, again, promotes natural energy and helps us work throughout the day. And chaga and reishi, that's good for immune. It helps us, especially as we get into this time of year where it seems like everybody gets sick, it's a good immune boost for our systems. Mud water fits with any diet. Also, it donates and supports psychedelic research since day one. They see the country's mental health epidemic and they want to be a part of the solution. Mud water is hooking up my viewers with a special offer. If you go to mudwater.com slash the max, you'll get $20 off your order, but not only that, a free frother. I like putting milk in mine and of course making like these mud lattes. It's phenomenal and this is a game changer for that. Remember, go to mudwater.com slash the max. That's M-U-D-W-T-R dot com slash the max. Get your $20 off in your monthly subscription and then again, a free frother for your order. Thank you, Mudwater, for sponsoring today's video. Did you know in the UK and in uh, France right now, they're fixing to put the highest, the absolute highest tax on their people. That's what liberals and Democrats do. They put regulations and taxation on their people. Now, they said it's for the upper elite. Wrong. It's going to end up affecting about 76% of the people. Is that what we really want? So that is that kind of agenda that's starting to come here. Also, let's go back to the numbers. And this, this again, proves the point of why Trump will be elected and should be elected. I want you to listen to this. Under the U.S. immigration status, Elon Musk shared this and Kinko of the Great did too. Under, this is from the Congressional Budget Office, who is not supposed to be political, remember, it has Democrats and Republicans. Listen to this. Under George W. Bush, 9.8 million net immigration problems they had, meaning net immigration, illegal immigrants that crossed the border. Obama, 7.9, so even Bush was higher than Obama. Isn't that funny? 7.9 under uh, Obama. Listen to this, Trump, three million. That was the net. So Trump by far is less than half of everyone, actually less than a third of most. Now listen to this, Biden, 10.4 million. That's just the ones they know of. Do you know over 70% of people say that the border needs to be closed? Now that's not just a Republican number, that's independent and some Democrats votes. This is why he will win. Another reason you better hope he wins is wars are taking off. You know, China said that he would actually probably do better and be able to handle the situation with China and Taiwan better. Now, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but he did say that Trump probably would handle the situation better. Also, Russia, test nukes. Russian nuke tests launched successfully. Listen to this. It could allegedly reach Los Angeles in 30 minutes, Paris within 10. So, you tell me how that is a good thing. Weak leadership, goes back to weak leadership. Did you see Kamala get on a, a bus or train yesterday? She loaded and she was leaning back. You know how you're exhausted, just lean back. 
and she starts yawning and you can tell the girl beside her is trying to tell her something and and she looks so disinterested because she cannot keep up trump is doing like two or three rallies a day doing podcast and kamala can't keep up this man this is this is this is the difference Here, here's what i want to say it's like when i hire somebody or when i work with people that are employees employers whatever when people have a passion about something the money is not a big deal the clout is not a big deal they have a drive and you an initiative and you can't just make that up you can't just say that somebody's gonna all of a sudden gather that they have a passion for what they're doing then when you hire somebody and they may be a great worker they may do good things but ultimately they're, they're there for the dollar they're for the clout and ultimately they're going to let you down at some point or some situation that's how politicians are politicians will let you down because it's all about them and their narcissistic ways what you see with people like rfk who doesn't need your money and power trump who doesn't need your money and power uh musk who doesn't need your money and power vivek who doesn't need your money and power these men that they're not i'm not putting them on a pedestal but what i'm saying is they have drive and passion and they have they have initiative to where they're saying i want to make america better i want to make it healthier i want to make it great i want to make it to be the shiny light that it once was that is the difference and that's why he will be elected even the bank of paris which is bnp bank um, this is a bank that does international trades they said that actually if the dollar wants to stay strong they do not endorse candidates and actually paris would stand with kamala because of the war listen to this a red wave where Republican candidates like Donald Trump wins the presidency and Republicans control Congress would actually be a positive for the result of the U.S. dollar. Now, this is somebody who's not saying they, they love the U.S. dollar. This is someone who's saying the reality is if Trump and the Republicans win, it will make America stronger. That even the people in Paris who does not like, that does not like Trump is even admitted to it. Now, for the serious thing. This is what le weak leadership does. You know what's happening in Asheville right now? Lineman strikes are happening in North Carolina. Nobody's working. So sorry, Asheville. We are not getting paid. It has been eight weeks and we have not received a single penny. FEMA has hired all these, these linemen and these workers to get lines fixed, to help the people out of there. And FEMA has not paid them one cent. Kamala just left the Hurricane Helene victims and gave them nothing to pay for these linemen. However, reminders that they have sent a 425 million to Ukraine just in the last few weeks. Linemen just went on strike in North Carolina after not being paid for eight weeks. This is from Marjorie Taylor Greene. It says, Kamala and men sends electrical transformers and hundreds of billions to Ukraine and FEMA takes care of the migrants. And now the linemen are not being paid. Is that really focusing on America? That's when we say make America great again. The only people that's helping Asheville people are Americans. Well, when it comes to the linemen, they have to have support. They have to have money. They have to have supplies. But they're not getting paid. So they're supposed to just give their time and give their, their benefits and give their trucks. And, and FEMA's guaranteeing their money and all of a sudden FEMA just doesn't pay them. How does that make sense to you? But, but we can write a bill and literally send hundreds of millions of dollars literally to Ukraine within a day. We can give literally pallets full of cash to Iran, but these linemen have to go through all the heaps and battles just to get paid to do their job for other Americans. And last story, U.S. Coast Guard to expand presence and cooperation in the Indo-Pacific. So because China's concerns, we now have our Coast Guard and our Navy putting more supplies over in the Indo-Pacific. Do we really want another war? And do we want one with China? Why are we doing this, people? We're literally sending our troops now and, and, and actually deploying Coast Guard to get over there to the Indo-Pacific. It says, U.S. Coast Guard now tends to send specialized forces, training teams, and other capacities to build assets and help the Indo-Pacific allies to bolster safeguards. What that means is they're going to put themselves in a precarious situation and all of a sudden war is going to break out and all of a sudden some American is going to get hurt and that almost allows us to go to war. It allows us to go right into it. The escalation. Because we put our people over there. It's mind-numbing and mind-blowing that we're doing this. We're expanding our presence. Listen to this. We are expanding our presence in cooperation with South Asia with 
focus on advising training, deploying, and capacity building. We want to make sure that we keep everything practical and safe in those shipping lanes. It's kind of like us putting you know, troops in, in Israel. It's going to happen. It's like us putting troops in Ukraine. It's going to happen. These powder cakes are going to blow up right in our face. And it could happen even before this other um, election happens or the other person takes power. Trump and his transition team, if they win, and I hope they win a landslide, I hope he is making these calls and saying, listen, there's a new sheriff in town and we're not doing this anymore. That's what's important. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Again, go check out the sponsor of today's video. I enjoy healthy caffeine and I enjoy healthy uh, benefits to our bodies and mud water is a good fit for that. Again, it's one of those things that's pretty shelf stable too. So you can put it in your preference pantry and know that you've got natural energy for all day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hey, there's a lot going on. Remember, pray, prepare, and live for Christ. God bless. Amen.